Uh, this week, in fact, at the restaurant, we're serving a, a dish with a fresh peach salsa. We've got, we're taking uh, pork loins, slicing them very thin, pounding them out. We dip them into a little bit of flour, a little bit of egg, and then some panko crumbs. Saute it in a little bit of, little bit of olive oil in a pan, and then we'll make a fresh peach salsa. We'll take the peach, dice it up. Again, I like to caramelize some onions. Uh, we'll add, uh, we're, we're using again jalapenos since that's the, the predominant chili available right now. Uh, although a serrano would be a very nice ingredient to add to that. And all we'll do is mix in a little bit of cilantro, the, the uh, caramelized onion, a little bit of the garlic that we've added to the caramelized onion, the peach. And that's all you need to make a wonderful fresh peach salsa to add to any pork dish. Uh, it goes well over uh, certain seafoods as well. It would be very nice with a halibut filet, for instance, or a halibut steak, which I prefer. Another thing we like to do with mushrooms is we'll take shiitake mushrooms, uh, which we have right over here. Thank you. Uh, shiitake mushrooms are just delightful. Uh, you just use the cap. We don't use the stems. We'll take those. Uh, for, for a nice vegetarian dish, saute those in a little bit of garlic, onion, olive oil, save the juices from that, and then what I highly recommend is you're making a side starch, uh, particularly a grain dish, whether it be a rice, uh, a dish we've been using a lot lately at the restaurant is called quinoa. Uh, it's a Peruvian grain, a very, very small grain, and it comes, uh, they have different colors. It's, a, it's either kind of a tan, there's a red quinoa, a black quinoa, and you use the juices from the mushrooms in the stock that you cook the quinoa or your rice. That flavor then is absorbed into the grain and gives a very, very nice hearty flavor to the rice or the, or the grain that you're using. And then you can use that as a base to put on top of your grilled vegetables. Other items that I like to use a lot that they have here are the blueberries. Um, I'll use those in salads as just a topping on a nice salad with the vinaigrette. We'll also make a blueberry vinaigrette. Uh, for that, I'll take the blueberries and steep them a little bit and get them soft, take them, puree them, mix them into with some rice vinegar, and then strain that, and it makes a very nice base for a blueberry vinaigrette. From there, you can take and add olive oil, uh, any herbs that you particularly care for. Uh, I'm very fond of basil, so a little bit of freshly chopped basil, whether it's just as an ingredient in the salad, or very finely minced and mixed into the dressing is very nice. Big fan of garlic. Some nice banana peppers. Um, they usually tend to be a little bit on the spicy side, although not killer. Um, they're very nice to mix in. In fact, it's a nice medium spice to mix in with your fruit fruit uh, salsas and coulis that you might make, a coulis being a pureed salsa. Um, and those types of chilies are very nice in there. Again, they have some lovely basil. Um, I, I love to use patty pan squash. Actually, my wife Peg here kind of introduced me to that. It's, it's a wonderful item if you take it and dice it into about oh, three quarter to half inch cubes. Again, I love to caramelize onions. After they're about halfway caramelized, I'll introduce some garlic into it and then the squash, and then just put it on low. Um, obviously, it tastes best if you're using real butter. However, I find that uh, given my dietary status, frequently I'll use Smart Balance, which is a little bit healthier blend for me to use at home. Uh, and if you just let that cook slowly for, on a low heat for a long period of time, stir it about every 10 minutes or so. After about a half hour, you've got just a wonderful side dish. Uh, it's very nice to dust them in a little bit of flour, a little bit of egg. And then if you'd like to give it a New Mexican twist like we would at the restaurant, get some uh, blue corn powder. And which is uh, just finely milled uh, cornmeal, blue cornmeal, and dust the, the, the crabs with that and saute that in the chili butter. And then you can serve that over a tortilla, or if you've, you're using one of the grains, for instance, like quinoa or rice, set the crab on top of there and then pour that butter right on top. And boy, is that good. Just delicious.